Well, I don't know about you boys, but I'm pretty beat. Well, it's too damn bad you never found that Bob character. It seems a shame he never had to pay. Well, funny thing about that. I did have one more chance at him. Six months ago, I heard that Butch and Sundance were back in the States and had gathered up some of their old gang. I tracked them down, hoping that Roscoe Bob Bryant had returned with them. So, you're saying they didn't die down in Bolivia? That's what I'm saying. Forty years I had waited to get my hands on the last of my brother's killers. Not even an army of demons could have stopped me now. Both Johnny Ringo and Jim Reed fell fairly quickly. Last one. Roscoe Bob Bryant. That some bitch had managed to escape my vengeance time and time again. I believe he was certain I'd recognize him after all this. By now, he had to be close to 70. For all you know, he could have been dead. That thought had indeed crossed my mind. As did others. For instance, did my thirst for vengeance turn me into something worse than the man I was after? By this point in my storied career, I had killed more men than Bob Bryant ever had. I was furious as hell at that bastard for making me who I am. A man with no family, no friends. Nothing could stop me from taking his life. I've been after that killer forever. From the time I rode with Billy the Kid. But that chapter of my story you already know. Chapter of that fairy tale, you mean? Suddenly it was 1910. There I was, an old man roaming a ghost town dead almost two decades. Just like me. But I wasn't about to call it quits. Even though the ghosts of my dead brothers were begging me to end what I started so long ago. Mr. Graves, are you alright? Would you like some water? The Wild Bunch knew I was there. They were after a treasure they had hidden before they fled, buried in the grave of a dead amigo. Some folks think the town is haunted, so they figured there wouldn't be many people poking around. I intended to fill that grave with Bob Bryant's corpse. And like I said, the bandits knew I was onto them. They lured me in and hit me with everything they had. You obviously prevailed since you sent me your dad yesterday. Actually, in that moment, I did not prevail. So I suppose we're talking to a ghost. Funny you should put it like that, Jack. Because when I woke up, uh, from the dead? There was silence all around me. I could 
swear to God I saw Billy then. Billy who? Billy the kid. William Bonney. He was shooting at me from a rooftop. Here, there, even over there. So I am right. You are titched in the head. Mr. Greaves, perhaps we should switch you to coffee? You see that old Indian again, too? No, but I did see Billy's killer, Patrick Floyd Garrett. He came at me guns a-blazing. But I knew that old war horse had died two years before. I wondered if maybe I was dead, too, and confronting the ghosts of my past. Perhaps all my sins were coming back to haunt me and, and drag me down to perdition. <laughs> I saw Henry Plummer throw dynamite at me. But in the gates of the cemetery, I saw John Wesley Hart, just like I remember him. appeared with his terrible double barrel shotgun. But no ghost army was stopping me. Uh, my father-in-law got hit with a fallen branch. He spent the rest of his life talking to dogs. Newman Hayes Clanton, William Grotius, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead. Robert and Grant, guardians of the Garden of the Dead. George Curry and Harvey Logan, alias Kid Curry, both thirsty for vengeance from the Great Beyond. Jesse, Woodson, James, and Jim Reed. Each one deader than the next. I thought I would go crazy. Thought? saw Harry Alonzo Longabaugh, the Sundance Kid, like a general leading his legion of the dead. You told us before that you seemed alive. He was alive. Then I heard a voice call to me from afar. It was Robert Leroy Parker, a.k.a. Butch Cassidy, coming at me from out of the fog. Thanks for taking care of that bastard.
but the kid wasn't quite deceased. Not yet. Takes more than one little bullet to kill the likes of me, partner. Those two looked like they hadn't seen each other for quite a while. Clearly, they were no longer amigos. Shit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to kill you. You won't have to, Butch. I'm killing you first. I asked them about Bob Bryant, but they were too busy with their own heated conversation. Let me get this shit straight. You want my money and the love of my life? You frittered it all away, Butch. It is mine. So is that damn money. I didn't want to shoot anybody until I had an answer to my question. But those boys didn't give me much of a choice. Cassidy and the Sundance Kid died there in that cemetery not six months ago.